sleep like that? How can you sleep with that motorboat going on? Uh, nice and easy one today, guys. I'm gonna show you how to spot CPAP mouth leak right here on Sleep HQ. And it's a great example because the member is using a Bleep Eclipse CPAP mask. All right, it's a very unique CPAP mask in that it has no physical straps. We just attach these little stickers called halos. There's the halos. We just put them up under our nostrils and then the Bleep Eclipse frame just snaps onto the little magnetic part there. And the lower your leak, the better your results especially if you're using an automatic CPAP machine, because as soon as that leak starts to increase, it causes all sorts of problems. And it's also gonna cause sleep disturbance, dry mouth and so on. So let's scroll down to the high resolution leak rate trace. And this is information that you just don't have access to on the My Air app or the Dream App app, any of those other apps. Uh, and here it is here. Now along the X axis, you can see we have the timestamps. 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and up the y-axis here, we have the volume of leak measured in liters per minute. Now, when it comes to mouth leak, what you're gonna see is this. I'm just gonna zoom in here by just um, clicking and dragging. All right, so what you'll normally see is the leak shoot up, but then it just falls off a cliff, boom, back down to zero. Now this is really interesting here, because I think this is motorboat leak, like that guy before where it's going Because you can see the little oscillations. Okay, see the little oscillations? Do, 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 do. <laughs> but then it sort of drops off back to zero. All right, now if we scroll forward, here we go again. Leak rate starts up again. Mouth leak increasing. Motorboat. <laughs> and then boom, drops back down. And what else can you see right here? Okay, have a look at the breathing trace here. It's breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Despite the large level of leak here, and a lot of the air is coming out of his mouth, the breathing is relatively stable. However, at some point, it wakes you up. You can see it here. We'll just scroll forward a bit more. All right, so mouth leak starts up here. Mouth leak, mouth leak, mouth leak. Mouth closes here, disturbance. Okay, it's waking him up out of sleep. Now, I also wanna show you something else here. Now this patient is also tracking their blood oxygen levels with a Sleep HQ O2 ring, right? They put it on their finger or thumb when they go to bed and it measures their blood oxygen levels every second, their pulse rate and their movement. And have a look here. Now when leak is at zero, look at the blood oxygen levels, 97, 97, 97. It's a nice stable flat line. But have a look when the leak goes up, what we see here. Look at it now when I zoom in, hey? See all these drops down to 92, back up again to 96, down to 92. It's no longer nice and stable. Look, it's jumping around all over the place. Now, leak drops here, back down to zero. All right, so only a small amount of leak. And look, look at the O2 now, yeah, 96, 97. Scroll forward a bit, here we go, oh! Oh, that's, don't worry about that, keep going. Here comes the leak again, here comes the leak. Here it is. Oh, we've hit REM, we've hit REM. And look at the O2 trace, very unstable, yeah? Look at all the dips. And this just shows you why it's so important because this isn't picked up in the AHI. If we come up to the AHI, look, only 2.98. Now I should also point out that if you have high levels of leak, the water in your humidifier chamber will run dry much faster, okay? And there's another big problem and that is a lot of this information that I've shown you here today isn't monitored by a clinician. It's not available in AirView, it's not available in my air. So you really need to monitor it yourself because if you go in to see a clinician and they go, hey, you're doing great, your apnea hypopnea index is only 2.98, well done. That doesn't accurately reflect the quality of sleep. 
Yeah, this isn't good quality sleep here. Right? There's a lot of disturbance. There's a lot of arousals, a lot of oxygen desaturations here. So don't just go on the AHI. Now the next question, what can you do about it? Well, what's mouth leak kryptonite? The pressure, yeah? The higher your pressure levels, the more likely air is gonna shoot out through your mouth. Especially once again during REM. That's when we get those pressure spikes. We get this fast increase in pressure, whoop, up she goes, whoo, forces air out through your mouth. So the first thing I do is look at reducing my therapy pressure levels or putting a limit on how high the pressure can go. So this patient here is on fixed level and they've got an inhalation pressure of 14. Hey, I'd be seeing how they go at 10. Can they keep their mouth closed at 10? Maybe eight, you'll be surprised how low you can go. Because if there's minimal or no leak, all that pressure is kept right here. So less pressure is required compared to when there's a lot of mouth leak. Does that make sense? So that would be number one. Number two, personally, I would try a chin strap, probably. It's a little support. Number three, I would try some Sleep HQ mouth tape. Shameless plug, guys. I just developed this and it is awesome. I'll give you a quick look at it. Here it is here. It's like a fabric tape. Great stick, lip barrier. And I tried to keep the price as low as I possibly could for you. All right, so this is what it sort of looks like. Okay. And it does work surprisingly well with facial hair. Mine's getting a little bit long now, but basically you just uh, number four. This is a VCOM, and that just goes between your tubing and your mask. So it connects in there and that reduces high inspiratory airflow. Basically, it just softens the airflow. Once again, less airflow, easy to breathe, less like it's gonna escape out through your mouth. So there's some options for you. Anyway, have yourselves a great day and I'll see you soon. Cheers.